Hi, here we are again. Everyone, here with Robin the Sudoku Guy with tutorial number 53. Now, before I get started on this, let me explain something. A few weeks ago, I was doing a lesson with some, some people and I found to my surprise that even although they had looked at my site on YouTube, they knew something about a 3x3, three three, but they never really got into the habit of looking for them, particularly when you got into very difficult puzzles. Now, in this particular example here, I've got this red line to separate this row from the rest of it here. Let's start off with this section below first. It's got nothing to do with what's up in here. A 3x3 three three simply means three numbers that can only go in three cells. And that can occur in a, row, in a column, like here, four, five, five, six, four, six. There's only three numbers and there's three cells. We call it a 3x3. Three three. Some people call it a triple. Um, this is in a column. In this case, we have a four, five, five, six, four, six, only three numbers, and it occurs in a block. In this case, we have, in a row, we have a four, five, four, six, five, six, in a row. In this case, we have it in a block, but vertically, four, five, five, six, four, six. And these little patterns, as I call them, are essential to look for when you've got a difficult puzzle, you've got to the stage where you've had to put in all the little numbers because you got really stuck. You've used every technique that you know of. Um, and so this is what can happen up the top here. You finish up with something like that. Well, the key is this. When you look, find a row like this, look for a three by three. And it was interesting in the class that I was teaching, they couldn't see it. So let me see if you can see it. Can you see three cells along here and there's only three numbers involved in those three cells? It takes a bit of practice and after you've seen, done them many times, you start to, to look for them and you can pick them up quicker. If you haven't picked them up yet, let me show you to them. Show you them. Here we have a seven nine here we have a 6-9, and here we have a 6-7. How many numbers there? We have 7, and a 6, and a 9. Only three numbers. And they can only go in these three cells. So once there's pretty well established that no other, uh, that, that a 7 and a 6 and a 9 is going to be either there, there, or there. We don't know yet, but they're going to be there. You can, and this is the key, you can eliminate, remove, cross out any other six, seven, or nine in this row. That's the key of it. And that's so important because it can change your whole puzzle completely. Let's look at this. Yes, let's do, we'll do the six first. And then we'll do the seven, then we'll do the nine. The six, seven, and nine. Now this six, can there's six seven we don't read rid of that but is there a, a block where there's a six not as part of those three cells let me put a tick by those three cells just so you can keep them in mind there's the three cells we're talking about the three by three here is a six so we can get rid of that six uh, here there's another six we can get rid of that six and here's another six, we can get rid of that six. What are we left with? Well, we did the sixes, now let's do the sevens. And let's do the seven. Here's a seven, is there a seven? Yes, here's a seven, look at this. Here's a seven there. If we get rid of that seven, we finished up with a big four. Way, so we're getting big numbers now, which is exciting. Okay. Now, there's seven, there's another seven. Yes, there's a seven right in here. We got rid of that seven. So we're now left with uh, just nine. We've done the sixes and we've done them, now we do the nines. Is there a nine somewhere uh, that doesn't include that, those three cells? Look here, here, and here, and here. Well, there is a nine here. So this becomes a five 
Okay, because it's not part of the three, the three by three, so that becomes a five. If that becomes a five, oh, I forgot. This four meant that this four can go, and this five means that this five can go, and what are we left with? A three. So we've got another big number. Now, if that three is there, we can get rid of this three. And we are left with just two cells of a matching pair. And here is your three by three. Now we've got, what do we got here? We got one, two, three new numbers because we knew how to look for a three by three and then get rid of other of those numbers in other cells. Now in my next two tutorials, I'm gonna be talking about the finned X-wing. Very handy to know. But in the meantime, study the X-Wing. So that's it for today. Bye for now.